So the other day, I was scrolling through those personalized news stories your phone gives you when I saw an article mentioning Sobe, and it made me think, what happened to that little lizard? So today, join me on a dive into some of the most nostalgic water you'll ever remember. Sobe is an American brand that makes teas, juices, and enhanced water beverages. The name Sobe is actually a combination of the word South Beach, which is inspired by a beach in Miami. And they undeniably have one of the best 2000s logos you'll ever remember. Starting out on their own in 1995 as the South Beach Beverage Company, Sobe was co-founded by three men, Kevin McGovern, John Bellow, and Tom Schwalm. Their first product to hit shelves was Sobe Black Tea 3G, which contained ginseng, guarana, and ginkgo, hence the 3G name. The drinks were iconically sold in glass bottles and it ended up being a massive hit which spawned them to make a few other flavors. They went on their own until 2000 when demand and production got a little too overwhelming which led them to being bought by PepsiCo. Sobe, for what it's worth, has truly made its mark in the field of marketing. Over the years, they have orchestrated numerous successful marketing campaigns, leaving an undeniable impression on the industry. One of their distinctive trademarks has been the digital wizard emblem on every bottle, serving as a lasting symbol of the company's identity. Sobe has always prioritized their connection with fans through a digital newsletter known as Lizard Tales, which is a monthly newsletter for fans that offer deals, promotions, and news about the company. One notable product launch was Sobe Adrenaline Rush, a sports drink designed to be an alternative choice from Gatorade. This led to a wave of Sobe commercials centered around sports. Sobe is also no stranger to the big screen with its drinks appearing in popular TV shows, movies, and video games. Notably, the game Odd World featured Sobe drinks and vending machines, heightening their brand visibility. Similarly, the game Driver showcased vending machines stocked with Sobe drinks and even featured a specially themed Sobe truck. Sobe also engaged in promotional activities allowing consumers to discover codes for prizes beneath their bottle caps. Their captivating promotion was aptly named Heads or Tails. They even had a Super Bowl ad at one point. Sobe has also forged strategic partnerships with various entities, including sponsoring the Chicago Rush Cheerleaders, collaborating with Mike Tyson's main event campaign, and teaming up with AOL Fan House. Occasionally, Sobe has captivated audiences with their infamous skin suits, assigning models or celebrities to don these distinctive outfits. These moments have further solidified the brand's identity and left a lasting impression on consumers. Despite the passage of time, the essence of Sobe remains deeply rooted, symbolizing the vibrant spirit of South Beach and the iconic lizard emblem. The latest slogan for the drink is Ride the Wild. Now normally, I wouldn't give a whole section of a video to the flavors of products, they usually just come up naturally when I talk about their history, but Sobe is iconic in the sense that it's had so many damn flavors over the years. So let's see them all. Starting with the 7 you can still get today, we have Sobe Tsunami, a strawberry daiquiri flavored drink, Sobe Morning Patrol, a strawberry banana flavored drink, Liz Bliz, a pina colada flavored drink, South Beach Sunset, a mango melon flavored drink. Offshore Breeze, a cranberry flavored drink. Citrus Energy, which is just described as a citrus flavor. And Green Tea. Now, we have everything they discontinued, and I tried my best to get the flavors for these names, trust me. So, starting off, we have Sobe Kai, a citrus flavored green tea. Sobe Adrenaline Rush, which was their drink to compete with popular energy drinks at the time. And I haven't forgot about the AMP video, I promise. Sobe No Fear, which was a separate drink from Sobe but made by the same people, and they came in these four flavors. Sobe Elixir 3C, an orange carrot flavored drink. Sobe Eros, which was in a clear bottle for some reason. Sobe Synergy, which was a carbonated juice product the company sold which had a variety of flavors. Sobe Nirvana, which is apparently a fan favorite flavor, but I could barely find the picture of this bottle. It's very bright orange. Sobe Special Recipe, which was their competition to vitamin water. Sobe Essential Energy, which was just a lighter, slightly healthier wave of energy drinks. Sobe Ice, which I think might be Liz Blizz now, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Sobe Zen Blend, which was a line of oolong and black teas meant to be calming. Sobe Wisdom, an orange mango flavored drink. Sobe Superman, which was a promo drink. I'm not sure if it was flavored differently than the other energy drinks or if it's just a rare skin. Sobe Good, which I couldn't find much about, but it's listed as a discontinued product. Sobe Dragon, a dragon fruit flavored drink. Sobe Love Bus Brew, a chocolate drink to compete with Yoohoo. Sobe Lizard Lava, which is now called Tsunami. Sobe Lizard Fuel, which is now Morning Patrol. Sobe Lizard Lightning, which was a wolfberry drink. Is that even a real thing? Sobe Black and Blue Berry Brew, which is a creamier drink flavored with black and blueberries. 
And lastly, Sobe Long John Wizard's Grape Grog, which was a grape juice based drink. At least 25 flavors have come and gone through the years, and now we're left with just the 7 I started with. On the Sobe website, they also have a section where they recommend mocktails and cocktail recipes. Maybe one day if I'm lucky, I'll get to do a taste test video on all these flavors. Sobe was an innovative company that came into a market where there was really nothing like it and nothing really is still. They were full of innovative ideas from the start and it shows throughout the company's history. They tried and failed many products, but all of them were made from these three guys' hearts and minds, and I think that's something we can all respect. And while the consumer market has changed over the years, as it always does, Sobe stuck to its roots, and sadly it just slowly became unfavorable to other drinks on the market. During an interview after being bought out by Pepsi, co-founder John Bello was quoted as saying, Is it just a fad? I don't think so. And it didn't seem like one, as it kept its prominence for over a decade before slowly dying off in the 2010s. It's theorized a contributing factor to this was in 2010 they switched from glass bottles to plastic bottles, which many fans felt almost betrayed in a way, as they had always known Sobe for its glass bottles. It also said the plastic affected the flavor of the drink as well. With sales declining and eventually entering the pandemic era, Sobe just couldn't keep up the way it used to and is now just a small little company still under PepsiCo, and you will be very, very lucky to find one anywhere, as you can't order them through the website and it's very hard to find a place that sells them. And if you do, don't get your hopes up that it'll always be in stock. But all things considered, Sobe was a very iconic drink in the 2000s and it still has a lasting legacy. With the iconic lizard logo and neon bright drinks, Sobe will always be remembered as one of those drinks we grew up with and I'm definitely going to start keeping my eye out for them. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it every time you do. I hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty soon these look back videos will be the longest series I've ever done, ever, across any channel and I'm really proud of them. I hope you like them because I have more and more planned, and I think I'm going to make them a regular video, either weekly or bi-weekly, as I work on other style videos in between, but we'll see how that happens. Thank you all again for 500 subs and watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.